Hi, this is Don Don at DG Recruit. I'm excited to answer a question called, what can you do to guarantee yourself two to three deals a month? What are the metrics you need to follow? Well, this question is really hard to answer because every single market is different. So based on your market and your experience, hopefully you have a manager or you personally have this experience of managing your own desk where you know kind of what the general KPIs to hit are. So the most really, I, I would say the easiest KPI to measure sort of deal um, possibility is interviews. Obviously, interviews per week is a pretty important KPI because the interview, when you book the interview, it shows that you have done all the activities prior to getting the interview so that you could get closer to a deal. Obviously, without interviews, there are definitely going to be no deals. So interviews in a lot of markets are a telltale sign of how many deals you're going to do that month. Uh, another really important KPI that you should start looking at to target is as simple as phone calls booked per week, right? Where how many phone calls do you need to generate a workable candidate? And some companies, I would say their standard KPI metric is two hours of phone time with over 50 dials. This is kind of an old school thing where a lot of, I would say, classically trained recruiters are going out and about and they're sitting at their desk and they're just supposed to hit the phones, like make at least 50 new dials. Like it can't be like 50 times the same person, 50 new dials um, per day, a um, minimum, where you spend at least two hours on the phone talking to people. So those two metrics are decently helpful because they give you an idea of like how much you're supposed to be doing in terms of just getting the knowledge and experience under your belt, especially for junior recruiters to learn the verbiage and learn the vocal, you know, the, the verbal exchange that needs to happen to get better and better and better assessing out talent and at assessing and vetting people. That's a really typical kind of junior KPI. The more experience you have, the more you don't really track how many minutes you spend on the phone or how many dials you have because the nature of your job kind of changes. Now, as a more senior person, you're kind of diving back in to past conversations. You're talking to people again. You're not just calling random people off job boards since you don't know, you know what you were doing when you were just starting. But now as an experienced recruiter, you kind of know what you're doing. You don't need to just call up everybody and test things and try and learn. And you don't need to do all those extra hours that you used in the beginning of your career. Now, as an experienced recruiter, you kind of know what you need to do and how those conversations are supposed to go. So other KPIs that have a relation to do with, you know, perhaps a more experienced person might be just like how many conversations, like genuine conversations do you want to have a week? I mean, is that 20? Is that 30? Like genuine conversations. And again, the conversion ratio is going to differ with everyone's quality and approach, right? Obviously the inputs are hard to tell, especially if let's say you're reaching out to the wrong folks every day. So the people that you do speak to, to are not a fit for your role. Or the problem with your system is that maybe you're representing way too many roles that are way too different. And how are you supposed to manage KPIs of like five different jobs? Right? So the first things first is I want to simplify it by saying the two most important KPIs of all are getting JMIs and CMIs. Because you don't want to be representing, like I said, millions or, you know, even five, even three different career tracks. Imagine if you had to recruit for an accountant, an IT analyst, and then also an HR person. Those are three distinctive groups of people that have zero to do with each other. They're not floating around the circles. They're not hanging out. They don't have referral networks to open up to you. Those three divisions are completely disparate. Right, so the problem of having a generalist recruitment model is that you, it doesn't matter what KPIs you're going to lose because you just can't cover that amount of work. So when I'm saying JMIs and CMIs, I'm talking about jobs with multiple interviews and candidates with multiple interviews. And this could even be in the same industry. Some people are like, oh, I cover aviation. I do everything in aviation. Again, now you lose this situation where you can get one job, ping it out to five candidates and get five candidates interviewing for that one job. Because maybe your one job is way too narrow and you can't ping them around, right? Another thing you want to do is get your candidate multiple interviews. You don't want just a job covered because that's a client-driven approach. You really want a candidate-driven approach 
possibly even more than you want a client-driven approach. Because a client-driven approach, it could take you 20 days to find five candidates for one job. When let's say you find one amazing candidate, you can get them three opportunities, right? You can get two or three amazing candidates and get him or her multiple opportunities. So that's a CMI where you get a candidate interviewing at multiple sites and thus is called a candidate with multiple interviews. And that sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, is a more important KPI to target is getting CMIs. The rule of thumb is if you can get like two or three CMIs a week, you're closing deals, right? If you can get two or three candidates to interview at multiple sites per week, your dropper ratio must be so high if you don't do two to three deals a week, right? So really the target ends up being at the end of the day for any experienced recruiter, CMIs, candidates with multiple interviews. Or you can say if you're an especially client-driven market, fine, maybe two or three JMIs a week. So however many you get per week is probably how many you're gonna do a month, as in two or three a week equals two or three a month. And I hope that makes sense. If you have any other questions around this theory, let me know. And if you have any other favorite KPIs, make sure to submit a comment and let me know what you do or what are some special KPIs that you have felt have really driven your business along.